everyone. We are here today to learn how to use Scaffold Ecri, the common line utility for Scaffolder. We're gonna open a new window and we're gonna create a file to put our project in. So now we can enter this file and we're gonna execute the command SK login to login in our account. Alright, now we can execute the command SK new to create a new project. We can choose uh, a front-end language and we're gonna choose Angular 6 for this example and for the backend we're gonna choose Node.js that is connected with a MongoDB database. With this comment now all the files for our project have been generated in our file so if we take a look in this file we can find, for example, a readme file text and if we open it, it's going to say how to get started with this project. So the first thing it says is to uh, put the command npm install and npm start after. Alright, now all the dependencies for our project have been installed. So now we're going to execute the command npm start to start the project and we need to make sure that our database is on. In this case we can see that MongoDB is already on but this obviously depends from whichever template you choose. All right, now we can see that also npm starter has been completed and we can see that our project is ready on the localhost 3000. So if we open the browser, then we just type in localhost 2.3000. So we, see, we can see that the security is already managed with the JWT uh, security system. And it's basically gonna save all our data on the database MongoDB. So now we can see that our project is active, but there is still no entity that we added to it. So we need to do that. And if we check the database with Robot3D, which is a tool to check your database, and we can see that it's already been created a file within the database that uh, it's called users with our admin. So now what we're gonna do is gonna uh, we're gonna add some data models to our project, and we can do it this directly from the CLI. So the way we're gonna do it is by sending the command sk add model, and we are gonna call this model student. And what is asking now if we want to add an attribute to it so we're gonna add the attribute name as a string and we're gonna add another attribute called surname this as well as a string so what it did now it created the some basis API for our data model and what she's gonna ask now is if we wanna create a crude API. So by clicking yes, this is gonna create also all the HTML files for this data model. So now we can commit our project. And by refreshing the page, adding slash students 
we can see that our list is already there so you can see you can add a student here And this is gonna be already automatically updated on our database so if we refresh the database now we can see that the student has been added so what we're gonna see now is how to create the same thing uh, but through the scaffolder interface on the online platform so if we're gonna go on app.scaffolder.com and log in we can now find here our project. So by clicking on the right corner, I can add a new model, just like I did before. And we are call gonna call this uh, docent. And it's gonna have a name as a string. And we're gonna also create the crude API just like we did before. So with this operation, not only we created the APIs, but also on the pages section, we also have the same pages. So they're gonna be called uh, docent list and docent edit. So now we're gonna generate this code that we just created and by the scaffoldically, we're just gonna type in SK generate to update this file. So you can see now that those pages have been created. So now we're gonna execute npm start to see our, how our project came up. So if we now just refresh our page, we are gonna see all our updates on the page. here from the home page so here we can see now the docent list and we can add one let's say George and this is also gonna be now updated on our database so this is it for now and I'm gonna explain in the next tutorial how to modify the attributes of a project and to manage their relations and add custom APIs.